Hey guys, I'm Nixie Nova, and this is Minecraft 1.13 Snapshots 18W07A. This snapshot adds a lot of the update aquatic features that have been revealed at Minecon. So I will be going over all of these, and there's creepers bobbing in the distance over there. First, let's look at the new mobs. First is the turtle. You can spawn it with this new spawn egg. They also spawn on warm beaches, uh, so something like this, if the biome says warm, I think, or just regular beach. As you can see, there is a turtle here. Not sure if I spawned it or he decided to go over here. Uh, the baby turtles are quite small. They are really tiny. And okay, this area is laggy, let's go back to our island. You can spawn turtles or you can hatch them with eggs. They will sometimes come onto a beach to lay eggs. Come on, get into the water. Get into the water. There we go. So they will lay these eggs, and after an amount of time they will hatch. If you want to be a monster, you can stomp on them. You can place... That's not what I wanted to do. You can get the egg block, and you can place up to four in one block before you have to do this and for some reason you can make them floating not sure why but you can do that they seem to grow better on sand as when you place them on sand they have the bone meal particles if you place them on anything else they don't let's just do that so they are quite cool and if you kill if you manage to kill one they will drop these seagrass, which are everywhere on the bottom of the ocean floor. If we go back up here, speaking of stuff on the ocean floor, there is this kelp. You can break it, and it will spawn these kelp items, which you can then put in a furnace, get some dried kelp, and then if we go into survival... What I do, game mode survival, and give ourselves hunger, let's do more, there we go, come on give me some more, then if we eat it, we can eat it very fast, this is not sped up at all, as you can see we are eating it extremely quickly, and each time we eat it, it is doing a half a hunger chop, seems to have good saturation, can eat a ton of this really quickly. I think this is the only food where you can do this. I forgot you can't do game with one anymore. So let's try cookies or bread. Game mode survival and do this. Cookies. They still have the same amount. Bread takes a while to eat, but kelp you can eat very quickly for some reason. If we go back to creative. Come on. Now there is a new weapon called a trident, which I have been using. You can use it to throw at mobs, and it works underwater as well. So you now have an underwater weapon. But, if you do throw it, you have to go down and pick it up. Which is annoying. But, there are commands, well, no, there are enchantments, which you can use commands with. You can have impaling, riptide, channeling, and loyalty. So if we just get all these. So impaling is like sharpness, it deals a lot of damage. I think I've run out of mobs to shoot, so let's spawn some turtles. Ignore that for a minute. So let's spawn some turtles in. So, if, where'd he go? Okay, over there. If we can actually hit it. If we hit it. And full charge. Three, four, five for a regular hit. And then one, two, three. That's three. Four. So it just does a bit more damage. Where are all these mobs coming from? Apparently mobs spawn in the middle of the ocean now, so that'll be good for a next test. Now this is Riptide, it will throw you, 
Well, if you go underwater, if you hit a mob, come on, get back here, it will throw you right at it. So this is, this will be quite useful for traveling underwater while hitting mobs as well. Now channeling, I'll save that for later, and loyalty will come back to you after you hit something. So there, came right back, we can go hit it again. So if we go into survival, and we use, say, the impaling one, well, we killed it, and it's gonna stay over there, but if we use loyalty, after it lands, it'll come right back to us with a cool animation. Uh, did it sink down there? Probably. And then, if we do channeling, and we set it to thundery weather, and we hit this creeper, okay, that wasn't good, full charge, and then hit the creeper, come on, thunder, needs to be thundery, and then, come on, it will do that, and it will make a massive lightning strike on the creeper, and turn it into a charge creeper, so if I get a villager, and do this to it, get a witch, and any other mob that does this, say a pig, let's just get some zombie pigmen, so you can use this in survival Minecraft to create lightning strikes, which you usually can't do, and it was a one shot, okay, so if we there we go, now, because of the lag, let's just go back to this. So yeah, without a mob, without it raining, uh, the lightning strike will not happen. It'll just be a regular, um, trident. So you can go away now. Now, next thing. The turtles, when they hatch from the eggs, and when they grow to adults, they will drop these on the ground. You can use them... Five of them to make a turtle shell, which you can wear on your head, and it will give you 10 seconds of water breathing when you're on land, it won't regenerate when you're underwater, so you can breathe underwater for 10 seconds extra before going back onto land. Now next up we have a ton of new blocks, so Prismarine now has slabs and stairs, get out of the way creeper, so this is very useful for, say, underwater building, so these can now be stairs, so if you do prismarine, it will look a lot better if instead of having these jagged edges, we have this, hello guardian, there we go, so maybe in the future ocean monuments will look like this, which is quite cool. Another thing, you notice there are no air pockets here. Say if we get a fence and do the same thing, there is an air pocket there, but for slabs and stairs underwater, there is now no more air pockets. Also, does this trick still work? Can you go over to here? My dog is barking like mad. Uh, yes, this still works. They are going to remove this soon and make it so that you can't just regenerate your breathing while underwater. No idea what my dog's doing. But yeah, more new blocks is the kelp, dried kelp block, which you get n nine of these, or well, you would, but the crafting recipe currently doesn't work. But it's a cool building block, it looks like sushi. Uh, the line in the middle seems to be off center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is off center. Everyone with OCD does not like this block at the moment. Um, okay. And now there is this block, which if we get a shovel, this is an axe, not a shovel. These are now the stripped logs. You can find them in the inventory between regular and bark. So they are the regular blocks, but without the bark. Like this is all bark. So you get them by right clicking regular wood with an axe, it'll share it. But for some reason, it rotates it completely, so you can just strip everything of its bark, and then get this cool new block, which if we go into survival, you can then mine, 
Pick up in your inventory as the stuff log. If I can type, I can go back into creative, and the witch is still here. Great. Get out of the way. So, water physics. If you see, as I was moving before, if you hold shift while going in the water, you move fast. And, okay, let's just go into survival. This is better for doing this. And set it today. Okay. Uh, this is probably not the best idea, but if we go in... Okay, we can go quite far down. And, okay, this is not very fun. You can also swim quite fast, and if you hold control, you can actually swim. We're getting quite deep. So, yeah, this is a very cool feature. You can actually swim now. And you're quite... You're a bit fast. Okay, let's go back up to the surface, or we will actually die. So you can move quite fast now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go back to creative mode before I die a horrible death. Now, another change to water is if you drop an item into the water. Let's just reload this. I've just done... I don't know what I've done here. So if you drop an item into the water, instead of sinking all the way to the bottom, it will sink all the way to the bottom. Okay. Instead of sinking all the way to the bottom, it will sink all the way to the bottom, and then start to float back up. So you can create cool water elevators for items. As you can see, they will all bob to the surface. So if I... Uh, spawn point. If I set my spawn in here, went underwater, got a lot of blocks in my inventory, slash kill, at P apparently. So you can see my items there start to float to the surface. So if you die underwater, you no longer have to go to the bottom and pick it all up. It will all float slowly to the surface. Now, you can counteract this by putting magma <laughs> blocks under the water, we'll create these bubble columns. If we put a mob in there. Okay. Which doesn't Yes, if you push a mob into the bubble columns, they will sink down and start taking damage, which is very useful if you want to make a squid farm, or a guardian farm, or just a mob farm with water. So they just get down a lot, and then they can go back up if they somehow escape. Also, items will sink fast as well. I think boats, if we ride a boat into the bubbles, if we get in. I think it'll do something. Yep, we sink very fast. Okay. And where did it go? Okay. So your boat now gets stuck in these columns. I can't get back in. Okay. So yeah, the ocean is now a lot more interesting. Have I forgot anything? Yes, okay. If we get my spawning back, this mob, Phantom, if we do weather clear, this was the mob voted in at Minecon. If we spawn it, it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, it's pretty buggy. I don't know what the AI does. But... The phantoms will fly around. I don't know what they're doing. Get out of the wood. But yeah, okay, they're slightly very glitchy at the moment. If you are tired, if you haven't slept in a few Minecraft nights, they will swoop down and attack you. They don't seem to be doing that. They just seem to be trying to fly underwater. Okay. You can also summon them and make them... Okay, if we just do that, you can create their size, so if we do a size 10, it creates quite a big one. The default is size 1, let's do size 50, that is a massive one. And now, if you really want to lag the game, you can do a size 100 phantom. Okay. So, I don't know why, and it's gone out of any distance. Where do you go, phantom... Well, okay, the phantom seems to have disappeared. I guess that's why it's called a phantom. But yeah, you can customize the size of these. It's quite cool. But they don't seem to do much. And they drop leather when they die. Uh, that will probably be changed soon. Now, not all of Update Aquatic's features have been added. 
I can just hear stuff dying. Are you drowning? No, you're drowning. Okay. So there will be dolphins as well added in the next update. Well, next snapshot probably. Coming next week. Probably. They will also fix things like this so that fences will actually go around. And there are a few visual bugs when you place a slab at the bottom half. So, yeah. Water hacked. Uh, why is it called water hacked? Okay. So it's water hacked Minecraft slab for some reason. But yeah, they're just slightly glitched at the moment. This will surely be fixed soon. It created create some weird bugs. So yeah, mess around with the snapshot. This one probably won't corrupt your world. Uh, but it'll be should be a good idea to just create a backup anyway, or just create a brand new world like I have, and then just do locate, then you can do monument, and then you can teleport there and look around at all of the kelp and seagrass down here. So they will be adding coral as well next, so that'll make the oceans a lot more livelier than it already is. Because we have plants now. That'd be like like chorus fruit and a spot. So if you place the kelp, there we go. You can place it on top of each other. And it will just grow forever until it reaches the top of the water. It can only be two blocks below the water. You cannot <laughs> place it above here. And in the 20 minutes of recording, the eggs have not hatched. They seem to take forever. I don't know how to speed it up, but they seem to take forever to hatch. I don't know why, but you can stomp on them, like the monster that you are. But yeah, they do seem a bit weird. Stomp on one. Can't stomp on the other ones. Okay, they seem to be a bit bugged, but I don't know how long it takes for them to hatch. Hatching one, three eggs. I'm not quite sure about that. But anyway, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, till next time, bye.